legs are apart right here. And rather than just like waiting, we're never just waiting for class to start. We stand up tall, we engage our booty, so we squeeze our booty, stand up tall, and our shoulders are back. We're like ready to go. Yeah, like if we were in the ring, we'd be ready to go. They, if, you know, boxers, they don't stand there and wait to hang out until they get punched, right? They're ready to go, ready to move. So, um, the music. So we're here, keep thinking about that, and as we squeeze our tushy, it pulls our core in too. So we're getting a, an ab workout at the same time as our booty. So open your legs wide, we're gonna reach up to the sky, reach up, roll those wrists down, and still thinking about that good posture. Good, all the way down. Plie, plie means to bend our knees up again. Good job, roll it down. We're gonna just relax forward, stretch forward, touch your toes, if you can't touch your toes, just open your legs up a little bit wider and then your hands will get closer to the ground. And plie. And stretch. Plie. And stretch. Stay right there. Plie. And stretch. Again, plie. And stretch. Stay right there. Can, can you hear me better now? Give me a thumbs up. Is that a better sound quality? Okay, I broke my mic in. Cool. So we're right there, we're standing up. Good, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna reach. So we're gonna reach to the sky and reach. And when we do it, yeah, we wanna use our whole body. So it's really coming from our back because when we use our arms, it comes from our back, from our lats. So we're gonna reach up, and we don't wanna just like reach like this, right? So we're gonna reach up, and we're gonna reach out to the side as well. And every time we reach, we're gonna pick our foot up and walk with it just because it's starting to get our little toes moving too, okay? That's right, guys, very good. Reaching out to that wall, it's very good. Right, so we're, we're starting to use the space and um, just get going, okay? So I'm gonna put a play music. So we're standing in second position. Just 
just on our heels, we can't move as fast. So we, on the balls of our feet, we have more control. Go, we're just rocking back and forth. Kind of like in a dance club right now. <laughs> okay, let's do our, our jazz squares. So we're gonna step forward, right foot, left, back, together. Okay, right, cross, back, together. Right, cross, back, together. Let's use our arms in opposition, just like we're walking, back, together. So left arm comes forward, switch, back, together, forward, switch, back, together again, forward, and we're gonna switch to left, one more time, and forward, switch, back, together, to the left, four, two, three, four, are we comfortable? Two, three, four, okay, good, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. So now it's all about just making ourselves look comfortable. Yeah? So like when we go to an audition, we just want to give off the persona that this is easy. Six, seven, eight. Good. Okay? So all of that comes from our upper body. So then if, if we're moving in opposition, lifting our chest, boom, boom. Like it looks so easy, right? Even if I mess up my feet, I look, I'm giving a persona that I got all of this. Okay? Very good. So, um, let's shift back in side to side. Two, three, four. Just feeling that feet again. Getting our body moving. Jumping jacks. We're gonna open and close. Open and close. Open, close, open, close. And go. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, double time. Go one, two, legs together, four. Five, six, seven, eight more, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, good job, good job. Hands on our hips, hands on our hips. Now the point we want to keep our legs glued together, glued together, and squeeze your booty. We're gonna press up to relevé, and then Brayden, press those shoulders down away from your ears. They're very good. Yes. So as we do that, our chest lifts. We're balancing right now in releve. Releve means to rise. So we're in releve. If we start working on our pirouettes or anything, this is where we'll live. For ladies, if we do stash walks, we'll be on releve. We're balancing right here. This is not random, remember? We're balancing because our body is stacked because our posture is correct, and because we're squeezing our inner thighs together. If we open our thighs and start doing this, my ankles are weak, and now I'm gonna fall over and maybe break my ankles, right? Um, so press, and if you start to get wobbly ankles, squeeze them back together. You guys have been there for a long time. That's a really, that's really good. Arms in first position. Very good. Now blow out those birthday candles. Tuck those thumbs down. Very good. Nice. Open a second position. And bring those arms just a little bit lower, Brayden. Yeah. And now lift your elbows. Very good. Shake it out. That was good. Good job, guys. You, I, couldn't, I can't see your lower body, but it looks really steady. Nice job. We're going to go down to the ground. Go down to the ground, we're going to do some tricep dips. So our um, fingertips are going to face our toes right there. And make sure, so like I said, make sure that um, as we do this, you because a lot of people like to cheat in their tricep dips because they get difficult. So it's going to hurt no matter what, so might as well let it hurt correctly, right? So don't let your hands flip or do anything weird because it's, Still gonna hurt. <laughs> That's what I like to tell my kids. So our fingertips are facing this way and we want our elbows to go straight up and down right here. Okay, so we're gonna do our tricep dips. Okay, lift your hips up. Hands are facing our toes. Five, six, here we go. Down and up, two, and three, and four. Pull that belly in, squeeze your booty, five, and six. We're 
going to do 16, 7, and 8. Again, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice job. Sit on your booty. Let's butterfly our feet. We're going to put the bottoms of our feet together. Right here, we're going to reach forward to stretch out our inner groin. Reach to the right. Reach to the left. Nice job. Sit up nice and tall. Feet go in front of you. Let's put our hands on our hips. Okay, so we're going to flex just our the toes and then flex our whole foot. Flex our ankle, point our ankle, and then point our toe. Toes, foot, foot, toes. Toes, ankle, ankle, toes. Does that make sense? Toes, ankle, ankle, toes. Toes, ankle, ankle, Keep this going, okay? Toes, it's natural if you don't flex or point your feet a lot to like start getting some toe cramps. And that's okay, it's just because these muscles are weaker. But it's good to start learning how our feet work. So we want a flex and keep your feet going. So when we start doing jumps, it's all about how our feet work. If we don't stretch or point our feet at all, we're going to be landing like elephants and we can hurt ourselves like that. So we really want to go through our feet kind of like a frog, yeah? A frog goes up and down. So that's why we're warming up our feet. Good. Let's, very good. Let's give our feet some ankle circles. Just loosen them up a little bit. Do about 10 because I didn't count and go the other way about the same. Good. Reach up and forward, so we're going to get a good stretch right here, folding over. So our forehead is reaching towards our shins. Try to get your elbows down on the ground, and just try to relax here. You always want to stay, good, good, good. You always want to stay in a stretch for at least 30 seconds, because it's back in the 80s, you know, if you watch those Richard Simmons exercise videos, you'd see them do like, one, two, three, four, yeah, but we don't do that anymore because we've learned it doesn't help, it doesn't work. Our body needs to remember the position, so we need to hold it for 30 seconds. Good, now flex those feet and get a deeper stretch. Flex your feet. You're gonna feel it up in your hamstrings. It's good to know that our hamstrings our hamstring is right here, right? Our muscle underneath our, our, in our thigh. But our hamstring is made up of four muscles, okay? There's four of them. So they wrap, wrap, and go straight up like this. So we have our hamstrings that we stretch parallel, and then we also have to stretch different ones, this outside one, when we turn out our legs. So right now, let's turn out our legs so that you try to make your pinky toes touch the ground. And now let's reach forward and see how it feels differently. For some people, these are more flexible or vice versa. It's not the case for me. This one's harder for me. Very good, bring your feet back parallel. Let's do one final stretch parallel. Do you feel the difference? Very good. Let's stand up on one foot, then the other. While we're still stretching, I'm gonna finish one more stretch because this is a, another stretch that you'll see a lot of people do and they'll do it incorrectly and I don't want that to be you, okay? So sometimes if we like go for a run or we do some quad workout, our, our quads will hurt, okay? So we do this stretch, right? Do we know this stretch? Have you seen this one? And then sometimes you'll see people go crazy and like go like this and now we're doing some 
some type of yoga workout. But that's not what we want to do because then it puts different pressure on our knees. And that's not the point of the stretch. So if we need to stretch our quads, the very front part of our quads, exactly opposite of what we were just stretching our hamstrings, quads, hamstrings, we, we want our thighs to be together. We're going to pick up our foot, put those knees together, press your hips as flat as you possibly can. If we're not flexible enough, they might be back a little bit, but the goal is to press this flat. Okay, and then you can take your other arm, you can balance it a high or out or wherever you're comfortable. But right there, and the way to keep increasing the stretch is not to be doing this madness, is to just keep pressing your hip flatter and flatter. Make sense? Good. Other side. We want to stand up nice and tall. I'm gonna put my hand on my hip. You guys have any questions so far? Okay. Very good. Nice job. And now we'll just do one more since we're standing right here. So we're going to do um, passe. This is called passe or retire, but I'm going to call it passe, okay? So passe, P-A-S-S-E with an accent, it's French. So ballet, ballet terms sound crazy. If we've taken any ballet, I don't know. Ballet terms sound crazy because they're not English, they're French, okay? Ballet comes from France. So it's whenever we do dance steps that are French names, yeah, that's why, okay? So, <coughs> so passe means to pass. Okay, so that technically is this, okay? Our foot is passing. But what we're gonna do in our jazz class is we're gonna do that passe position and um, we're gonna hold it in parallel. Okay, so passe, like when I teach to my little ones, passe is our triangle. We're making a triangle, see my triangle? Two, three, one, two, three, okay? And this can come into use a lot of times either in a pirouette or just if we're doing like musical theater style and we go there, um, you know, West Side Story, there's passe, passe. We really use passe a lot, okay? So passe, let's put our hands on our hips for now and I want you to stand just as tall as you were as when you were doing this, pressing your hips forward. That's where we want to be. We want these hips to be flat. <laughs> Excuse me, I need a drink and what I have is coffee, so. Okay, so our feet start together, totally parallel, just like in our relevé position. And uh, our foot immediately leaves the ground and points. So that's step one. Ball the foot, point, and connect it to your ankle. Ball of the foot, point, and then we rise up to touch the side of our knee, okay? Now, we want to only touch it with our big toe and keep it nice and straight. We don't want it to sickle, and now I'm not straight anymore, you see that? Or do this and rest on my leg. Okay, so passe. We ankle, lift, and then we're going to lift it right here. We try to stay as square as possible. It's very intense in our psoas right here, our hip flexor, but that's just because we have to strengthen that muscle. If we don't do this a lot, um, or like high marches, <laughs> you might not be as developed right there. So that's our high, that's our passe position. Put those shoulders down with that chest. Very good. That's our passe on the right. Let's do our passe on the left. Okay? So we have demi. Oh, demi means half. Okay, demi means half. And that's a French term too. So half, so that's half of the foot. Demi. Point, up to passe, and hold. And then let's get comfortable right there. And now check out your body, like a self-teach yourself here. Are you straight? Are your elbows pressed forward? It looks like we are. Is your, is your knee right where it should be? Are we sickled? Are we resting on our heel? <coughs> oh my goodness. 
And then from there, we can press to releve like we were practicing earlier. Yeah, good job, guys. Um, step bump ma. Okay? Step bump ma, it means the same thing as step tick. You can, before, when I start going, you can give me a thumbs up or thumbs down, or if you've like heard of it, if you know what I'm talking about or not. Okay, I'm so good. Okay, so we're doing step kick. So as we do our step kick, it's, it is exactly how it sounds, and it's gonna be as great as our own flexibility that we're working on, right? So we start ready to go. We step on one foot, and we brush and to kick our leg. Yeah, good. And the same thing, this is exactly the posture. So, um, um, and it's about stretching that foot. Okay, because we don't want to be here. We want to continue the line. So we want to go steps, brush, steps, brush. I'm going to kick a sewing machine. Yeah. <coughs> Good. Now, Brayden, when you do it again, try not to let your arms swing high. Keep them right here. Ready? Do it again. Step up. Better. Yeah. And actually, both of you, we can bring, we can bring our arms in a little bit closer. So... Um, go like this for a minute. There's this muscle right here. It's your pec, your armpit muscle. I like to call it your armpit muscle. So feel it when it flexes, and that helps us in like everything we do in dance. So it's kind of hard to find, but when we do find it, it really, really, really helps. So that's the muscle you use when you do push-ups. So now, when we put our arms in first position, this is first, we want to squeeze that muscle. If you're not squeezing it, then we're not using it. We're, we're just kind of like hanging out, yeah? And then it's not quite giving us what we need. So, <coughs> sorry. And so then we want to flex that, and same thing in second position. If our arms go behind us, then we can't even flex it anymore because it's out of our range, even if we have like flexible shoulders. So we want to be able to see it in our peripheral vision. And that's something that really a lot of dancers don't know. You'll see a lot of dancers dancing like this. <laughs> so that's, um, pay attention to that. We want to bring those arms in. There it is. Very good. So we do step bump ma. Step bump ma. Two of them. Five, six. Here we go. Step bump ma. Step bump ma. Very good. So if you're at a Disney audition, Henson, you'll definitely be doing that, right? You'll do step bump ma, step bump ma, step going on. Okay, so I think we're good with our bottom eyes. Um, <coughs> we uh, let's move on to our pot of array. Do you know pot of array? Yeah. Okay. So pot of array. We're gonna start with our our right toe pointed, and pot of array goes. It's three steps. It goes right, left, right, and then it switches left, right, left. One, two, three. One, two, three. On the balls of our feet. When the balls of our feet always, we don't want to be heavy into our heels, then it gets hard and we can't move very fast. So we step, it goes back, side, front. Back, side, forward. Back, side, front. 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 Back, Side, front, back, side, front, back, side, front, back, side, front, one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, and two, three and four, five, yeah, great. Sorry, I'm judging a competition right now, so I'm just like talking 24-7. So my voice is like shot. Does your foot always go back? The first one always goes back behind you. So back, open, open. Behind, step it out. Back, side, side. Back, side, front. So it's really the first step that matters. The next two steps kind of go in a lot of different variations because we can do pas de bure, but the thing that's most important again is that first step going behind. So back, side, front, back, side, front. And if you're ready to go on, don't go on if you're still getting this because we 
want to be really comfortable here to be able to run it out like one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. So keep practicing that. Um, we just need to be comfortable. Remember, it always switches weight though. So it always switches. We never go, yeah, it's always right, left, right, left, right, left. So if you're ready to go on from there, then we'll do our pas de beret turn. So that first turn step, we'll do a half turn. So we'll just face the back wall. It goes pas de beret. Okay, so we half turn, one and two. And now let's go come back to where we came from. Three and four. One and two, 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 three and four. How are we doing? Good? Okay, good. So then as we do that, we'll, then we can do a full turn. So we step all the way around, back, step, front. Okay, we'll just do one of those because you would probably do like, pa de boo, ray, turn it around. Okay, okay. So you don't have to go there yet, but that's a fun, that's my favorite place where pa de is go to, pa de boo, turn. Okay? So we have pas de bure, back side front, back side front, back side front, done, done, good. And we can do pas de bure's in any style. Um, just sometimes we might call it something different. Like we can do it in hip hop, but it, I just I say it sometimes and it's a little dorky because we don't want to say doing pas de bure's in hip hop, right? It's like <laughs> okay, but um, we can do our pas de bure's in ballet. And pas de bourre, back, side, front, okay? So it, it, it can really translate to every style. We can do pas de bourre in tap. Ga, 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 ga. They're, they're in everything, everything we do. Cool. So let's do um, <clears throat> a turning exercise. Okay. So when we turn, we have to spot. Have we heard of spotting? Yeah, okay, so when we spot, we want to, um, it's what makes us from getting dizzy. So, if I'm in my chair like this, and I spin, and I spin like this, I'm gonna get dizzy. But, if I spin, and I'm gonna look at the lens on my camera right here, if I look, whip my head around, and then I turn, and I'm spotting my computer, I don't get dizzy. You can try it in your computer chair. Right? So, um, that's what we want to do as we start to do like our chanets or our turns. Hmm. So, the exercise I have for you is called the cork in a bottle. And this is to warm up our head, our neck, because it's all here. Okay? So, a cork in a bottle. We're going to stand up nice and tall. Find something to look at. So, maybe that's like me on the computer screen or um, something... Like right here, okay? So our arms are going to be at our side, our feet are tight, and try to just walk around small little steps on the balls of our feet. Mm -hmm. And so we look, we look as long as we can without doing this, yeah? As long as we can with our head on straight, whip it around, and then the rest of our body follows. Our head is the last thing to leave and the first thing to arrive, okay? So we go, we turn, 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 whip. And our body catches up. We turn, 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 whoop, our body catches up. Dig a dig a dig a dig a dig a dig a dig, whoop, and it catches up. Da 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 da, whoop, catches up. Very good. Yeah. Let's go to the let's go to the left. Six, keep your body nice and tight. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, whoop, and turn. One, two, three, whoop, and turn. One, two, three, whip, and turn. One, two, three, whip, and turn. Good. So I'm gonna throw a little something at you. We're almost out of time. Yeah, that flew by. So we're almost out of time. So what we're going to do is we're gonna start um, right here. We're gonna do two pas de bourrées. Pas de bourrée, pas de bourrée. Step, bop, ma, step, bop, ma. Step, kick, step, kick. Nice. Six, seven, eight. Pas de bourre, pas de bourre. Step, spot, ma. Step, spot, ma. Good. So we, we just did step, 
left kick, step, right kick. We're going to plie, plie, passe, plie, passe, flat foot, then two on releve. Plie, releve, plie, releve. Okay? And as we press to that releve, um, we want that foot to attach immediately and shoot up there like we practiced earlier. Very nice, yeah. And let's put our hands on our hips so we can practice even when our hands are on our hips, our pecs should be squeezing right there. And we can tell if they're not when we're like this. And our elbows are just hanging out. Yeah, I see that a lot when little kids dances. Because of, yeah, okay. So, hot of array. Six, seven, eight, one and two, five, ready, step, kick, step, Kick, plie, passe, plie, passe, plie, releve, plie, releve. Good? Yeah, good. So now you can technically do that to like any song. If you want to play your favorite song, um, like, what's the song? Let's get loud, let's get loud. Turn the music, da 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 Anything that has an even eight count beat, right? Let's do it again. Six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. Plie, up, plie, up. Step, releve, step, releve. Good. And then if you wanted to challenge yourself in a different way, you go step, releve, hold, hold, hold. Step, releve, hold, hold. Just to mix it up a little bit. Okay, one more time. So let's see. Sorry. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, then let's do our rubber runs because we're almost out of time. 